The Woman Warrior by Maxine Hong Kingston is a memoir and a work of fiction that blends the author's personal experiences with the myths and legends of her Chinese heritage. Published in 1976, the book has become a classic of Asian American literature and a landmark in the feminist movement. The book consists of five interconnected chapters that explore the themes of cultural identity, family relationships, and the power of storytelling. The first chapter, No Name Woman, tells the story of Kingston's aunt who was exiled and shamed by her own community for having an affair and giving birth to an illegitimate child. Through the retelling of this story, Kingston examines the social and cultural expectations placed on women in traditional Chinese society and the ways in which these expectations continue to affect her own life as a Chinese-American woman. The chapter also raises questions about the power of storytelling to shape and define our sense of identity and belonging. The second chapter, White Tigers, is based on the Chinese legend of F.A. Mulan, a woman who disguised herself as a man to join the army and fight for her country. In this chapter, Kingston reflects on her own struggles to find her place in American society while remaining connected to her Chinese heritage. Through the story of F.A. Mulan, Kingston explores the themes of gender identity, cultural assimilation, and the tension between individuality and community. The third chapter, Shaman, is a fictionalized retelling of her mother's story as a healer in China. In this chapter, Kingston examines the legacy of trauma and violence that has been passed down through the generations of her family, as well as the ways in which her mother's experiences as a healer have shaped her own identity and sense of purpose. Through the character of her mother, Kingston explores the themes of intergenerational trauma, the power of the supernatural, and the role of women as healers and caretakers. The fourth chapter, At the Western Palace, is based on the Chinese legend of Tsai Yen, a woman who was taken captive by barbarians and forced to live as a slave. In this chapter, Kingston explores the themes of cultural appropriation, cultural imperialism, and the erasure of women's voices and experiences. Through the character of Tsai Yen, Kingston also highlights the resilience and ingenuity of women in the face of oppression and violence. The fifth and final chapter, A Song for a Barbarian Reed Pipe, is based on Kingston's own experiences growing up as a Chinese-American woman in California. In this chapter, Kingston reflects on the ways in which her own identity has been shaped by both her Chinese heritage and her American upbringing. Through the use of personal anecdotes and reflections, Kingston explores the themes of cultural hybridity, the struggle for self-acceptance, and the power of storytelling to create and shape our sense of self. Overall, The Woman Warrior is a powerful and groundbreaking work of literature that challenges traditional notions of identity, gender, and culture. Through her use of storytelling and her exploration of the myths and legends of her Chinese heritage, Kingston creates a narrative that is both personal and universal, speaking to the experiences of Asian American women while also illuminating broader themes of identity and belonging that resonate with readers of all backgrounds. Through her powerful and evocative prose, Kingston invites readers to examine their own assumptions and biases, and to see the world through a more empathetic and compassionate lens.